Good day, students. This is GE6103, Living in the IT Era. I am your OLC, Ms. Chris Elin Pico Prejos. Our topic for today is about digitalization and its effects. At the end of this module, you are expected to know the different effects or influence of digitalization to the industry and to the society. Second is for you to know how digital footprints works, both on passive and active. And third, for you to know the use of digitization the society and to media. Decades ago, digitization already influenced every industry. In spite of the fact that the effect of digitization isn't new, the uncommon pace at which computerized innovations spread and enter society, customer life, and organizations is significantly changing business sector, exchanges, and it's imperiling existing plans of action. Meaning the existing plans of action is being put at risk due to fast innovation. Let us find out the difference between digitization and digitalization. When you say digitization, it means to convert something into a digital format and usually refers to encoding of data and documents. Digitization is converting physical format into digital format. When you say digitalization, it means to convert business processes over to use digital technologies instead of analog or offline system such as paper or whiteboards. Digitalization is the use of technologies that is a leverage to improve business process. Digitization separates industry hindrances and makes open doors for new plans of actions, which thus offer assent to new and possibly troublesome market participants. Uber, by means of a straightforward application, has upset the whole versatility industry and furthermore has turned into the greatest transportation organization, all without owning an office. Digitalization influences the whole esteem chain or group and underscores or gives specifies to the significance of business environments, inciting critical changes in the way organization construct their upper hand. Computerized advancements have opened new business. They have offered a set of challenges, which has set off the computerized change of organizations. The computerized move is convincing built-up associations to choose whether or not they need to have the capacity to utilize computerized advances as an empowering agent and initiator inside the improvement and change of existing and new organizations. Therefore, from digitization, which is the conversion of data, going to digitalization, in which the converted data will be adopted, 
Then, we have digital transformation in which the adopted data or changes will be created. Or digital transformation is the result of digitization and digitalization. Let's proceed to characterizing digitization versus digitalization in the business setting. Characterizing digitization versus digitalization. While data and those close similar to the advancements in ICT have enormously enhanced in the course of the last decade and have diffused in numerous parts of our lives, they are regularly acclimatizing or adjusting to advance advancements. At a principal level, digitization can likewise be comprehended as making of computerized or the non-material pieces strings, rendition of simple physical things. For example, paper archives, microfilm pictures, photos and sounds, and so forth. Therefore, digitized careers can be characterized as the collection of computerized and physical ancient rarities that are perceived as a final result to address client issues. In business, Digitization is regularly utilized from the point of view of procedures. It alludes to the robotization or making it automated of the existing manual and paper-based procedures through digitization of data from unsimple to a computerized organizers. In such manner, Organization ought to go past essentially computerizing a current business process by re-examining it, including the cutting the quantity of steps required, decreasing the quantity of reports, and creating robotized basic leadership by digitizing data serious procedures. Organizations could accomplish up to 90% of cost diminishment and enhanced turnaround times by a few requests of expense. Now let us discuss digital footprints. Computerized impression or advanced shadow alludes to one-of-a-kind arrangements of traceable computerized exercises, activities, commitments, and interchanges that are shown on the internet or on advanced budgets. There are two primary characterizations of or for computerized impressions. Number one is the passive digital footprint. Passive digital footprint is made when information is gathered without the proprietor knowing. Otherwise, called information deplete. This is an example of passive. In an online situation, an impression might be put away in an online information based as a hit. This impression may track the client's IP address, when it was made, and where they organized from or originated from, with the impression later being dissected. In a disconnected domain or offline situation, 
an impression might be put away in records, which can be gotten by overseers to see the activities performed on the machine without having the capacity to see who performed them. And the second one is the active digital footprint. This or made when individual information is discharged intentionally by a client to share data around oneself by methods for sites or internet-based life. An example of which is in an online domain, an impression can be put away by a client being signed into a website when rolling out a post or improvement with the enlisted name being associated with the author. In an offline situation, an impression might be put away in records when the proprietor of the PC utilizes a key logger. So it logs can demonstrate the activities performed on the machine and who performed them. One of the highlights of the key logger is to screen the clipboard for any progressions. These might be risky as a client may duplicate passwords or take screen captures of delicate data, which will be then logged. Active digital footprint is made when information is gathered without the proprietor knowing or the information deplete. While active digital footprints are individual information is discharged intentionally by a client. So those are the two primary characterizations for computerized impressions. Let us now proceed to economies of scale. The research in the financial matters of digitization addresses a few fields of financial matters, including mechanical association, work financial matters, and protected innovation. Therefore, Huge numbers of the commitments to the financial aspects of digitization have likewise discovered a scholarly hole in these fields. A basic topic in a significant part of the work in the field is that the current government control of copyright, security, and antitrust is wrong in the cutting edge world. These are the components of economies of scale. Number one is a spread risk. Having a business risk is inevitable. We should know how to spread the risk so that it will not burden the company. Next one is reduction in promotion costs. With economies of scale, we can reduce production costs or promotion costs. Next, we have cheaper capital. With economies of scale, business will have a cheaper capital. Let's have reduction in logistic costs. The business will also reduce its planning costs. With economies of scale, you have to buy in bulk. You can save when you buy in bulk. And with economies of scale, we have efficient production. How fast is the production of the business products? So those are we consider in economies of scale. Field of financial aspects that review how digitization influences markets and how computerized information can be utilized to contemplate financial matters. 
Digitization is the procedure by which innovation brings down the expenses of putting away, sharing, and dissecting information. This procedure has changed how customers carry on, how modern action is sorted out, and how governments work. The financial aspects of digitization exist as an unmistakable field of financial aspects for two reasons. Number one is the new financial map models that are required on the grounds that numerous customary suspicions about data never again fall in digitized world. The second reason is the new kind of information produced by digitization. It requires new strategies to dissect. The rise of online life systems has made progressive leaps forward, bringing media to unparalleled levels and giving its clients extraordinary chances to go about as influencers. Advanced media has given you live communication channels produced from clients changing the center of mass correspondence and undermining the oligopoly of media business. Television and web have dependably contented to pull in more gatherings of people. Yet, as a substance of customary media outlets, for example, TV, TV has turned out to be fundamentally the same as in all sources. And those outlets have tried to discover creative approaches to make tracks in an opposite directions from the cliche content by consolidating two systems. When you say oligopoly, it is a market characterized by a small number of firms who realize they are interdependent in their pricing and output policies. So these are the two systems. One is to deliver reality-based substance. The second one is to discover approaches to enable beneficiaries to interface with the game content, be that as it may. TV is at yet confronting hardened rivalry from internet-based life systems. Media hypothesis gives a decent structure to break down the relative benefits of its channel. Media lavishness is a component of qualities. These are the qualities how media is gorgeous and costly. They have the capacity to deal with different data signals at the same time. They have the capacity to set up an individual core interest. They have the capacity to use regular dialect. And they have the capacity to encourage fast criticism. Let's now discuss media concentration. Groupings of media possession is a procedure or otherwise called media union or media joining. Media fixation and its effects on pluralism have been, these are the focal points of correspondence thinks about especially by schools and creators that have practical experience in contemplating telecasters. The different commonly accepted meaning of concentration. When we discussed fixation, 
we as a rule allude to no less than five distinct wonders. Four with a monetary premise and a fifth of a political sort. The principal marvel generally alludes to focused task and business joining, like corporate takeovers or mergers. Furthermore, when we discuss fixation, we frequently allude to possession, possession focus. Thirdly, we allude to advertise fixation and fourthly, we once in a while allude to a group of onlookers fixation. The fifth and potentially most generally acknowledged importance of fixation is political in nature. And it's comprehended to be the centralization or collection of energy in one or a couple of associations emerging from their predominant position. With the coming of the internet, the other progressing virtualization and digitization division approaches generally utilized as a part of the past to target client bunches are obsolete. In the information age economy, balance promoting and mass customization approaches are connected, utilizing data innovation to exclusively target clients as indicated by their particular needs and inclination on mass data and customization frame. These are the three most common types of mass customization. Number one is made to stock. Products are made to have stocks. For example, smartphones, they are made ahead of time, then stop it. The second one is assemble to order. Products such as computer, in which the buyer can demand on what parts should be assembled or put inside to make a one computer. The third one is made to order. Just like in restaurants, the product will be made if the customer will order. So those are the three most common types of mass customization. Therefore, digitization, going to digitalization, then to digital transformation, plays now a very important role in our economy. It has a huge impact in mass production and mass customization. Mass customization of products supplied in our society. Well, that is the end of our topic for today, digitalization and its effects.